Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to give you a new view this week. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm here spending the weekend with Cookie. Um, it's definitely been too long enough uh, that we, we just had to get Kylie here into a Hike360 video. And what I wanted to show you today is the van that she just got for herself. So we're hanging out, we're having smoothies in the van. Um, Kylie, will you kind of point around and, and show the people, um, or better yet, before you tour the van, why don't you tell us why and how you got the van? Of course, Ryan. I mean, Hike360, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I got the van because I value minimalism. I value travel and the van life allows me to have both in one fell swoop. So Oh, it's still going. Okay. <laughs> Keep that in. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> so I I I've, I've been searching for probably close to a year for the perfect van. And a lot of vans are like really expensive, you know, like the Mercedes Sprinters. Mm -hmm. And that just like wasn't my vibe. But I also didn't want like something super sketchy and cheap, like off Craigslist. So I found like a real nice in between. I got off RV Trader and um, I paid $13,000 to nice. have my new home on wheels. And I have downsized completely. I'm able to live in the van slash store stuff at my grandma's and be mobile. I think that's great. And you were talking about uh, the Sprinter vans. You've also introduced me to teardrop trailers. Yes. And that's been a lot of fun for me to explore on my own and dream about. And maybe I'll have one soon enough too. You will. Yeah. So uh, you picked it up in? Rileyville, Virginia. Virginia. So I took a one way flight to Virginia, an hour and a half long Uber from the airport to <laughs> Rileyville. <laughs> Best Uber driver ever. Best Uber driver ever. And uh, finished the transaction at the mechanic and picked up the van and drove her home. Very nice. And you were telling me a funny story about how you didn't have any license plates on it while you drove home. Is that correct? None. Or? It's totally unregistered. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. But here's the great here's the great thing about the van. It has a max speed of 85 and I don't even want to push it. So mm -hmm. the cruise control maxes out at 50. So I can try to set it to 55 or 60 or 65. It won't take. It'll lock at 50. That's the highest speed that you can go on cruise. So I drove 50 the whole way, which means I'm not getting pulled over. Right. They <laughs> think that a grandma's driving this van. Um, and, and this is... Uh, the what Fiesta? Is oh, it's a it's a 1988 Dodge Ram Fiesta XRT. Dodge Ram Fiesta X. XRT. RT. I don't know what all those mean, but I, I was trying to Google it. I could not find it. Me I, neither. I, all I was searching was Fiesta on Google. Pinatas <laughs> 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 and <laughs> yeah. Dodge Ram. It's a Dodge Ram 250, so it's really old. They don't make them anymore. They're so like outdated. Again, 1988. Yeah. Really cool. Um, so, will you wrap up this video with me and Let's just sort of yes. tell people what you've discovered about the van, um, what works for you so far? Absolutely. Um, you want to start at the front? Take it away, yeah. Let's go over yeah. here. You can just look at the front. So, we've got your dash. There is a cruise control, windshield wiper, and <laughs> what's happening with the window? Oh, that! Let's get that <laughs> elephant out. out <laughs> this of the room. old thing. Yeah. So the window motor was kind of um, on the fritz when I arrived in St. Louis. It was like going up and going down, but like kind of sketchy. And then one day last week, I pulled the door shut, and the window dropped and oh. fell into the door. Oh my And it gosh. won't come back up. So currently, to prevent rain water, we're just and not even very well at that. We're just doing that. <laughs> That's what we got to do. For I get I go Monday to get it repaired, but okay. um good. I was worried. Monday, Monday, Monday. Okay. So that's happening in the window. Um pretty much everything works except the 
stereo. We gotta we gotta work on that. You brought so me a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you said that. I've got your frequency uh, transmitter. And it has charging ports. Yes, that's um, that's this a good is piece right there. The art. Okay. Yeah. So you'll be able to connect uh, your phone Bluetooth into the van, and it'll yes. rock the tunes. So hopefully, because I think it comes through the speakers, but we'll we'll see. Okay, so, so that's the front. The front's great. Everything's great. There's a little bit of foot room for the passenger, cool. um, but people were smaller back in the '80s, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got this curtain. Oh yeah, I've, so I got some drapes. So some privacy drapes, and these are homemade blanket seat covers. <laughs> I love that. In case you were worried. Um, lots of storage. There's hella storage in all of the upper. What are these? Things. Cabinets? Yeah, cabinets. Just hella storage. Nice. And let's see, obviously the side doors pop out. You've got the kitchenette right here with your sink, your stove top. Oh. You like that? Yeah. Have you tried that yet? Uh, no. Okay. And your Dometic fridge. Fridge, um, stove, sink. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we can open it later. Swear it opened um, yeah. earlier. So, um, bathroom, like I said, toilet and shower, but if we want to hook up to an RV park and, and do all that, that's great. There's also an AC that you can plug in. Look at this little baby bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I'm telling you, people were smaller back then. Yeah, you were not lying. More storage. storage. Oh, and then the bed. This is a pretty cool um, experience. Ah, oh. what is happening? Just watch and find out. There you so go. So there's your fold out bed. Oh yeah. And then we would put sheets on and have a lay down. That's great. All right, well, Kylie, thanks for showing us your van. Mm -hmm. And for you, uh, those of you who are watching, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, you'll definitely be seeing more of Kylie. So stay tuned. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and Check me out on Instagram in the description. All right, guys. Peace.